Draymond Green has been pretty down thus far in this NBA Finals run for the Golden State Warriors, but his Warriors are still up three games to two on the Boston Celtics, looking to close this bad boy out on Thursday. A lot of the talk around Draymond's bad performance is the fact that he's shooting podcasts win or lose after every game. After game four, Draymond was asked specifically about the effects that his podcast could have on the series versus the Celtics. And boy, did it get kind of spicy with Draymond and the Bleacher Report's own Jake Fisher. Here's what Jake had to ask Draymond. Are you conscious at all about what you're saying from an X's and O's standpoint? The game plans, the adjustments are all on your podcast. And do you think that is affecting the way Boston makes their decisions? Draymond responded by saying, no, I don't see much different on the podcast than what I say to you right here. So nah, what X's and O's am I saying on the podcast is what Draymond said. He said, all I say is stuff like, oh, that's the contested shots. If that's X's and O's, then you're reaching for something. It's all good, though. Keep reaching. When you find the X's and O's that I say on my podcast, let me know. It's like, the only thing I pretty much said was White, Smart, and Horford got to get contested when they're shooting. Draymond said, you went for respect. Appreciate the podcast promo. The Draymond Green Show. The next time, just mention it that way. Draymond on his podcast following game four. Went in greater detail about him shooting the podcast during the postseason, specifically the finals that his Warriors are in. Y'all going to get this podcast, like I told y'all from the beginning of the playoffs, this podcast ain't going nowhere. I'm going to leave the arena. I'm going to return to this hotel room. I'm going to return to my home. We're back in San Francisco, and I'm going to film this pod. So what should I be doing when I get back to my room? Should I go to sleep? Should I watch the film of the game? Because I'm going to do that anyway. So what should I be doing when I get to my room? So when I hear all this noise about my podcast, it's not going anywhere. You are going to get this podcast. If you don't want to listen, don't. But you are going to get this podcast. And if you want to talk about it, great. That's from the desk of Draymond Green. Again, the Warriors are up three games to two. I should have got this bad boy out after game number four, but I did not. So we're here now. Here's my two cents about Draymond and the Draymond Green show that he is shooting throughout the postseason specifically the finals, even when the Boston Celtics were up in this series. Be clear. Draymond Green sees the bigger picture. I have a catch-22 with this one. Draymond sees all the money being handed out to content creators. If you're smart, you get in the game right now. I've been in the game for six and a half years. I've been fortunate enough to make a decent living. The game has never been as good as it is right now for any content creator. There are multiple avenues, many different avenues to make money. The game just wasn't like this five, six years ago. Draymond is about to get a big bag. And when I say a big bag, keep in mind, he's on Colin Coward's network, the volume, shooting this podcast. This ain't even his network. He could have easily taken his content and did what he wanted to with it on his own thing. He's giving it to Colin's platforms right now because he sees the bigger picture. Draymond is positioning himself to replace Charles Barkley. That's where we're at with it. He sees that Charles continues to tease at his retirement with inside the NBA. I'm sure Draymond's no idiot. He sees himself declining as a player. He is declining. He sees guys like Jonathan Kaminga and the Warriors, James Wiseman, if he ever gets to the court, they drafted him a number two for a reason. He sees these young fellas coming. He sees himself declining, and he's setting up his career after basketball. And by the way, wouldn't be surprised one bit Draymond's made a lot of money as an NBA player. Wouldn't be surprised one bit if he's able to make more money in the content creating space over the years than he did as an NBA player. Keep in mind, he's in the middle of a hundred million dollar deal as a player right now. That just tells you how much money I think is going to be available for Draymond. He's actually pretty good at his job. If you ever gave his content a chance, here's the other side of this though. The Warriors got something to say about this too. All right. We're in the middle of a playoff run. Oftentimes, as a team, we're playing bad. Specifically, Draymond, you're playing bad after these games. You know, if they're able to skate past the Celtics and win this championship, who's to say in the upcoming years when Draymond's continuing to shoot his podcast and appear on Inside the NBA because he got to deal with Turner, who's to say Golden State's not going to say, all right, this was cool in 2022, but this is getting ridiculous. He's not playing good and seemingly giving his A-plus game to the podcast. Again, it might be good in 2022, but long-term is it going to be good with the Warriors when they got Kamingo on their bench, when they got 
Wiseman on their bench. Suitable bigs that, by the way, are both better shooters than what Draymond is right now. They're just not better thinkers of the game just yet. Here we are. Draymond on the back end of his prime. Seemingly letting you know what's the most important thing to him right now. Positioning himself going forward as a businessman. I'm not saying the podcast is more important than him winning a ring because having success as a player is very important. But he's letting you know the business of Draymond Green is the most important thing. I'm sure winning is very important as well because that also affects the business. But the podcast portion of Draymond is a reality of his business. And it's going to continue to be a reality of his brand going forward. The Warriors have a say in it. They could trade him one day. They could say, yo, we're not just going to continue to pay you $25 million a year. Maybe Draymond won't even want that type of money. If he knows he's getting this with the podcast and he knows he's a declining asset as a player, maybe Draymond's cool with sticking around on that Golden State Warriors team for $10, $15 million. Maybe coming off the bench, six-man role. You know, maybe still starts. We'll see. He maybe he's comfortable doing that to still play in the league, be a part of that San Francisco regime out there on the West Coast, being that San Francisco son. Maybe he's comfortable with that because he knows how much money he's getting in the podcast content creation space. He might be fine with that, by the way. He might be fine not even being a guy that plays much for the Warriors, but it just means so much more if they're going to continue their, their dynasty, the second run at it here. They win a championship this year, and I will look at them – as one of the favorites going forward for the next two years, at least, with what they got. One of the favorites out west, at least, to get back to the NBA Finals. He might say, yo, I'm good with just being one of the guys on this team because it will still take my knowledge, it will take my insight and put it here versus a guy like me, even. I'll even use me as an example. I didn't play in the NBA, obviously. Draymond still got that upper advantage on a guy like me trying to get bigger bags because he's a professional athlete that plays while he's potting. So that might be leverage that Draymond wants to keep no matter what. These are all things that Golden State will have to consider going forward with Draymond, and Draymond will have to consider with Golden State going forward. All real conversations. I'm not mad at Draymond for potting. I just knew it would one day be a thing that the Warriors fan base wouldn't be happy about when the team wasn't blowing out the Denver Nuggets or rolling past the Memphis Grizzlies when Jai goes down. I knew it would be a thing at some point during this postseason run, and here we are. When he's not playing the greatest, and his team could use more buckets on the court than what he's giving the pot. He's giving the pot 25, 10, and 10 a night. And he's giving the Warriors like 7, 5, and 4 in the postseason. It's not good enough in the finals. The pot is spectacular performances. You're getting, like, one good game every six, seven games with Draymond on the court, though, which is he gets paid good money on the court, you know? But if you're smart, you're savvy, you see where this content creation space is going, you understand it to a degree. It's his problem. It's the Warriors' problem. But I'm telling you all now, he's not going to stop shooting. He's going to shoot all through free agency. The game is changing. The world is changing. Draymond looks around and says, pretty much 85% of what I'm giving these people in post-game interviews with the NBA I could go regurgitate it, sauce it up a little bit my way, and give it to a podcast and make a lot of money doing it. It's smart. If the NBA not going to shut them down and say, yo, you can't do a podcast after games because we want to give this exclusive information and content to our reporters, then Draymond should go forward with that. 